would be more fun replacing that 300 watt ballon with a new 1500 watt ballon. Then I can use my amplifier. I think we'll do that just a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep these uh, vines and grass from growing up in my treasure. But yeah, I think we'll uh, bring this ballon down and replace it. All right, I need to come over here. Probably not the best place to wear shorts. As long as Mr. No Neck doesn't surprise me, we'll be okay. So I just have this leg tied off, this little branch. We'll set that right there. And there's an eye bolt in the tree there, running out to an insulator. And the tree limbs have grown a little bit. So that should be okay. You just want a little slack. So we can lower this thing and it's not all pressed against the tower. This was a squirrel feeder I made. Now it mainly just holds my wire sitting right on top of the carport. That ought to be loose enough. This is the fun part. Got this all tied off a hundred knots. My weights here are some uh, old ro roller. I don't know if it came off of a, like a fort lift or pallet jack or something. Something I had in the scrap pile. Now we're gonna have to take this roll loose. Grab the coax, pull it back. And about what a figure. I'm gonna do all of this. Had it tied up so pretty. All right. A lot of uh, safety knots here, huh? <laughs> I think I can work with that. This is the MFJ 913. It is the 300 watt. And why in the world do ants love towers, antennas, and wire? Look at all that. I hope y'all can see all them ants in the heat shrink. Oh Lord. And there's our line to pull it back up. We're gonna tie that off. We sure don't want it to go back through the pulley. But that's secure. This is our new Jetstream JTBAL41B, four to one ballon transformer type, 1500 watts. No pulleys on this system. It's all just stainless steel eyelets with the uh, track on or paracord, whatever you want to call it. Ah, 
gotta pull all this back through. You can't really see it from directly under it, but there's another paracord and a clip holding that brace from collapsing down as it almost had done before. It's just some aluminum. But, uh, there we go. That should work. That looks pretty good. Look, it may rain. Okay, let's go see how it does. Almost forgot. We gotta pull these other legs back up in there. That would have been odd. No. Pull this side back up good and tight. Wrap it back around the empty squirrel feeder. Kilo 5 Yankee, Victor Yankee. Kilo 5 Yankee, Victor Yankee, 59 and 1633, over. QSL 1633, you're also 59 Mississippi, Mike Sierra. Have fun. Uh, Roger, good copy. Thank you, 73. It worked. So we got the battle and put up. We've been doing a little bit of testing. And so far it's working. So the bands changed just a little bit. The tuning changed a little bit, putting the uh, different ballon up, but I'm starting to get the hang of it, uh, seeing where everything is. That contact was actually done on just straight 80 meter loop. Uh, no tuner involved. I had the tuner bypass. So that's pretty good. I'm comfortable with that. And the amplifier is working pretty good so far. I'm thinking according to the meter, I'm getting about 500, 550 out of it. Have no idea uh, what the shape of the tubes are right now. We'll get into that some other time when I go to cleaning it up and, and redoing some stuff. The uh, Sharpie on the front of it, I'll, I'll take a photo and put it up here. But the Sharpie says retubed 524-2015, uh, parentheses 4, parentheses M. Um, so I'm not sure about that, but so I got on web SDR and listened to myself on open frequency, got it tuned up and I made uh, a contact with myself. <laughs> I threw my call sign out there and I could hear myself really good. Then I put the amp into bypass mode and I couldn't hear myself near as well, almost down in the noise. So I know the amp's working because of that fact right there. Probably uh, at some point, I'm going to take this amplifier down to MFJ and Startville and get them to look it over, maybe retube it, put some new meter lights in it because they got them fancy LED ones now that's real pretty. I am pleased with my Huntsville Hamfest purchase. I appreciate you coming along for the video, and we'll see you next time.